In this video I want to uh, provide a quick example of how I would pursue an object or an observation in, uh, in, a, in a literary work in order to write a literary theme about it. All right, And um, I'm going to use Rasselas, Samuel Johnson's short novel Rasselas as the example. Now, I want you to, to think with me about the notion of holes in Rasselas. You have two very clear holes. Now start from the back and work forward, okay? At the end of the book, um, Rasselas and company are in the catacombs, the graves of the early Christian martyrs. So they go into the ground where people have laid down their lives for their convictions. All right? Now let's go back to the middle and you realize that there's another type of hole where Rastless and company go up and then they go inside a structure down into a tunnel, down into a hole inside that structure. It's the pyramids. And um, so already, you know, already I'm looking at, there are two of these here. Could that mean something? Because when you notice something, a design or parallelism or uh, some element that keeps on popping up in the work, you need to ask yourself, is it coincidence? that this design is here, this parallelism is here, this similarity or this object that keeps on popping up or this event that keeps on happening or this word that the author keeps on using, is it coincidence? Because it, the first time it, you can't draw anything. The second time you begin, well, is this the third or fourth time you begin to realize this is really moving from the world of coincidence to the realm of, um, you know, probability. It's probably an element of design. And I'm, I'm really working on that with this notion of holes. The third hole is at the beginning of the book, where you were introduced to uh, the Happy Valley. And the valley itself is described as being, well, a valley between high mountains, but there's no way out of the valley. So it's not like a valley like the Grand Canyon is a valley, where you can just follow the river and then eventually you, you get out of, 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 of this deep space. It's more like a... Uh, a, uh, a, a funnel, right? It's more like a uh, inverted cone or an inverted pyramid. And at the very bottom, isn't there a hole from which the water of the lake pours out? Okay, so um, I've got I've got three holes here that are that are situated strategically in the text at the beginning, the middle, and the end. And if you look at each three of those holes, in the the bottom of the hole, Rastless comes to a, a, a a game-changing decision, a core decision is made at the bottom of those holes. So at that point, you know, I've got something to work with here. I'm going to say I'm going to investigate the nature of holes in Erasilus. Um I'll pull from the text to show that uh, that this, in fact, is not coincidence, but probably design. And once I establish that, I'm going to try to interpret or explain what this means. So that would be what I would pursue, all right, in Rasselas. The, 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 again, the, the, the nature and the structure of, of holes in the text and what it portends to the message of the text. 